Welcome to Electron Line. One of the easy parts of this chapter is the concept of the linearity property. What does that really mean? What does it mean when we're dealing with linearity? Well, let's say that we either have a voltage source or a current source. In the case of a voltage source, if it's applied to a linear circuit and we have a load resistor attached to that circuit, the current going through the load resistor will be proportional to the voltage source. If it is, if the current is a linear function of the voltage source, then if we double the voltage source, we expect double the current. Triple the voltage source, we accept, expect triple the current. That's why we have what we call a linear relationship. In other words, the output is some constant times the input, K being a constant. In the case of a current source, and we have a linear circuit attached to it, then if you double the current, you expect double the voltage across the load resistance. Again, V on the output is a linear function of the input, the current in this case on the source. If we double the current, we expect double the output, double the voltage, triple the current, triple the voltage, and so forth. If that's the case, then we have what we call the linearity property. We have a linear circuit and the output is directly proportional to a constant relative to the input. So a circuit, and then you may ask the question, what is a linear circuit? Well, a, a circuit is linear only if it's made up of linear elements, elements that allow that direct proportionality. Resistors are a perfect example of that. Inductors and capacitors are not necessarily linear, linear components because the current through that will change over time. That's not the case when we have resistors. They also must satisfy what we call the additive property or the additional property. In other words, if we have two separate currents being driven through a resistor, then the voltage across a resistor must be the sum of the contributions of each of the currents. The contribution caused by the first current plus the contribution caused by the second current. In other words, the voltage caused by the first current and the voltage caused by the second current. If that's the case, then we have a linear circuit. And that's when we have this relationship right here, the linear relationship between the output and the input. That's by definition what we call the linearity property.